Hi guys, welcome to official Union Source channel. This is Jenny. For lots of Amazon sailors, Alibaba is an amazing website. You can not only find numerous suppliers that sell various products, but also you are able to customize your product by adding a logo. Having a specific type of packager, having your own product be a specific color, and so on. How cool is that? But all things has two sides. There are some bad suppliers on Alibaba. They will cheat you and take your money. So the big problem you are facing is how to choose reliable suppliers. On Alibaba. Well, this video will help you out. So basically, there are three steps you need to follow. Step one: directly search the product, and then sort by supplier types. Step two: check the supplier's basic information, such as the length of the time they have been on Alibaba. Step three: check the product details and the company background. In this process. There are lots of details and knowledge you need to know. Now I'm going to show you how. If you happen to have your laptop around, you can try to operate with me. Before we get started, make sure you have registered an Alibaba account. This is mine. So here is an example. Say if I am looking for tempers, just type tempers in the search bar and hit it. Here we go. As you can see on the left, there are some other options that can help us narrow the range down. Supplier type. This is one a big help. It can help us find more reliable supplier. Well, there are three conditions for us to choose. Trade assurance, verify supplier, and less than one hour response time. Let's start with the first one. Trade Insurance is a free service offered by Alibaba. Trade Insurance covers you if the product you ordered do not ship on time, or if the product you received does not meet the specification or quality standards. If this happens, Alibaba will give you a full refund. Well, I think it's good choice for us. Click. Who don't want the supplier to provide the assurance? Next one, verify supplier. I believe lots of your guys must know that there are different supplier memberships on Alibaba. Go to supplier and verify supplier. Then, what's the differences? Look, this page shows us as a verified supplier. A supplier's company profile, production capabilities, products, and process controls have to be inspected, assessed, and verified by independent third-party institutions to ensure reputable and consistent expertise on Alibaba. It means verified suppliers must pass more assessment than the gold supplier. Click the reason mention. This is the interface you're looking at in the new version. Just in case some of your guys are using the older version. This is more option, gold supplier. Let's continue. The response time is not that matter. Since time differences, and suppliers usually receive tons of junk messages every day. So they might not reply to you within one hour. I just leave the boxes here. And of course, there are some product types for you to choose from. Right here. Now, hit the search bar. Good. We can see so many products and listed on the page. The basic supplier information you need to pay attention to 
is the length of time they have been on Alibaba. It appears here. The first one, four years. Second, eight years. Third, one years. I suggest you always choose those over three years, because the lens less than three years usually are small companies or factories just get their business started, and not so stable. Well, the first one looks pretty good. Let's go with it. Okay, right. More details information. That's good. We got pictures, prices, more specific information about the product and the way we get in touch with suppliers. That's more. C. Product details, verified information, and the company profile. These two sections you need to spend more time on. First, product description. All the details you can get here. I know lots of people care about MOQ, but don't worry. Price and MOQ normally they are negotiable. Don't forget to check their product certifications, and you must know what scents are a must-have for the product. This one got FLGB. That's good. You can move the bar to see more. The next one is a company profile. Good. They have company pictures and about business type, manufacturing and the trading company. It means this supplier not only can produce the product, but they can also export the product directly to overseas companies. Country, region. Zhejiang, China. Zhejiang is a coastal province. Detailed address, check here. Wow, it looks good. They have both office and factory, but located in a different area. You know, over 80% of the manufacturing activities are done in this coastal province. Zhejiang, Guangdong, Jiangsu, Shanghai, Fujian, Shandong. If your supplier is far away from the coast, is in inland city, you are going to have to pay more to transport your goods. But I'm not saying inland manufacturers are a bad choice about main products. If you look at the supplier's main product categories, you should be able to figure out if this company is offering a concentrated line of product-related products you want, or they are scattered and offering all kinds of products. Here says, vacuum flask glass bottle, plastic water bottle, tumbler, food flask. It looks like this company matches the first mind. Company certifications matters. The company says cert is different from the product cert. Any company can have a product cert by asking help from a third company. However, not all companies can have a company cert, especially like ISO 9000, which is a cert certifies a company's quality system. ISO 14000, a certification, certifies a company's environmental system. So, if a company has both these two, that would be really nice. Not bad. We find ISO 9001 here. If you think the supplier is good, you can click Contact Supplier and send your inquiry, or use this window to talk to them. Okay, 
that's all the content for today. If you find helpful, leave a like. Or you have any questions about how to import from China, leave your comments below. Let us know. We will help you. See you in my next one. Bye.